All right, well, this is Scott with the Sci-Fi Diner podcast, uh, bringing you the Klingons again uh, with their charity and what they're doing here at Shore Leave. And with me this year is Brad. Welcome to the show, Brad. I am Burad. Burad, I'm sorry. Burad, excuse me. Uh, so tell me, Burad, what is going on this year at Shore Leave with you guys? I mean, no longer is the torture chamber. That's passed, and now we have something new. We've decided to bring you the, the bridge of a scout ship. Okay. So we have a command chair and a small console. You see the walls, some of the walls of the bridge here. Very cool. And this all fits into a new direction that we're going. Uh, we've collaborated in the last couple of years with, with some of the Star Trek groups that are doing webisodes now. Okay. The we did an episode with Farragut. We did an episode with Phase 2. Uh, we've been asked to do an episode with, with the Aliens. Uh, but if you look at all these different groups that are doing these various web efforts, none of them are doing it from the Klingon. Right. So we decided, well, then we need, obviously, to build some Klingon uh, interiors, and we need to start writing scripts and try to find you know, the other te the technical talent that you need for lighting and sound and, and filming, and try to do Klingon web assemblies. Okay. So this is just the first step down that path. Okay. We're starting to build bits of what we can use on a set to do webisodes from the Klingon point of view. Which is going to be a good point of view because we don't see much of that regarding the in, in the fan universe. That's true. And so that's going to be probably because it's hard. Okay. It's hard. It's uncomfortable. Um, most people also, you know, I mean, Star Trek is generally done from the Federation point of view most of the time. That's what most people kind of identify with. Yeah, well, I gave it to but on the other hand, the Klingons are the most heavily explored alien race. Right. So uh, they have such a rich, a, such a rich culture has been built for the Klingons that we thought it would be useful and entertaining uh, to, to go ahead and do do some situations from their point of view. Very good. Explore explore some of the same kinds of situations you see in Star Trek but from the other side. All right, and so uh, this is really twofold. Not only are you doing this for charity, and what charity, again, are you guys supporting? In this case, what we're doing today, we're raising money so that we can continue so can do this. Right. So build more set pieces. Okay. Um, like all the other groups that are doing webisodes, we, we've applied to be calm. Uh, right. Right. But in the meanwhile, you know, we're raising money to build these things so that we can do webisodes. Very, very cool. And uh, and so, any timeline as for when you hope to have some webisodes out? Oh, it'll it'll be a it'll be a year or, or it'll probably be a year or two from now. Okay. Just started to get. I mean, we've got we've got people that can do what we do. Right. We haven't got the technical guys yet. Okay. We've talked to the media folks at the community college and see if they want to play. And, and we've also gotten some tips from the Balticon folks. So who else we can contact? Right. But we're looking for people who, if they want to be part of something like this, you know, if you're if you're a film guy, if you're a sound guy. Guy. If you're a makeup person or a costumer, if you want to do something like this but you don't want to be Klingon, that's okay. We're not all going to be Klingons. Right. You got to have somebody to somebody to interfere, you know, to act off of besides right. just Klingon. So we're looking for all that kind of talent. Right. To be part of this new adventure we're starting off. With. Right. So if listeners are interested or viewers are interested, they can contact you guys, right? That's correct. And how can they find out more information about you? You can, con you can send me an email at burad2, B-U-R-A-D-2, at comcast.net. Okay. And I will get back with you and tell you, you know, whatever you ask. Tell you what you want to know right. about what we're doing. All right. And uh, we, we would welcome any, anybody that wants to come and participate in this event. We think it will be a great time. Well, it sounds like a good idea, that at least. And is there a website or anything Not yet? yet? Not yet. Not yet. We're working on that. Working on that. And last question, are you fluent in Klingon? Not entirely. Not. 
I have no clue what you said. Click on pork to look. Well, they're test my Klingon. I failed. <laughs> I failed the Klingon test, and that's true. But all right. Well, thanks for taking the moment to just Certainly. chat with us, and um, hope to see you next year again, and uh, and hope to hear to progress it. in it. So, top pop. All right. Thanks.